Hi everyone! Here is part 2 of drawing Stray Kids in a huge paper with acrylic paints. Today I will color the first member. And can you guess who that will be? Yes, it will be Ian! Oh my god, I'm really excited with this thing. This is a huge drawing. I am excited and nervous about how that will look like i am like thinking it will look really good or extremely bad and i hope it will be really good and yeah this time i will be commenting actually things while i am drawing and while the time lapse of me coloring runs i will be commenting on what i am doing maybe i will give some tips Without talking that much, I would say we start right now. I will start putting papers on the floor so it doesn't go full of paint. And then I will start drawing iron. First I will erase the darkest parts with pencil. And then I will start, I will start drawing the background. I am using a combination of the colors baby blue, pink and magenta and of course a lot of white so it creates like the same effect uh, as in the photo like a little a little bit of blue and a little bit of pink at the same time and you may actually ask yourself why are you using the reference on the tablet and not on the printed photo i already have well, I'm using the reference on my tablet because the printer changes a lot of the colors. It may seem like not important for most of people, but for me it is. It's like less vibrant colors in the printer as in the tablet. And I want to have the, the colors as real as I can. And that's why I, I'm using the reference on the tablet. I also got some new brushes and that new palette like for mixing colors or for holding paint it's really really useful for mixing because it doesn't like absorb a lot of paint it just mixes it this part is kind of tricky I'm starting with the background and this is actually really tricky because in the tablet the colors seem to be really really like light colors but when I paint them they seem really dark that's because of color theory All, everything on my paper is white and grey because of pencil I have not colored everything yet but when I color the th um, all the members then it will be a very very bigger contrast and that's what uh, will cause the color on the background to look uh, way lighter than it actually looks right now so uh, it actually needed a bit more like purple and white but yeah right now we are done with the background or oh, half done it may be that I make some changes because I changed my decision on the background but now I am starting with the clothes you may ask yourself now why are you starting with the clothes and not with the face? Well, I already made the base colors of the face, but I'm starting with the clothes because of, the, because of that color theory. If I start with the face, I get confused because of the colors. I think, oh, it's too dark. And then I add more white and more white, but, but then as I paint the clothes, then I realize, oh, it's too light. I have to make it darker and then I lose paint. And time so that's why I'm starting with the obvious things the darkest clothes and then I will do the hair and then I will do the face that's just because of just because I can understand my drawing better that way in this drawing coloring iron as the first member is not a random thing in my case I do it because the other members will have like hair or things over IN and it will make it easier to color the other members as well. Now as you can see I am doing the hair. I start with a base, a base color, very dark color 
and then I start adding some lights, some brown as, uh, as you can maybe see on the photo because of the lightings of the tablet it seems really hard uh, for everyone to see uh, actually the colors but I could see them and yeah, as you can see, finally I am coloring the face. I start with the darkest things, so I can have the reference of the colors. Eyes, lips, nose. And then, just then, I start drawing the skin, coloring the skin. And it makes it really, really easier for me, and that would be a very good tip for you as well, if you can try. Uh, I don't... Um, I don't say it will also work that way with you because every person, every artist is different and has its own unique techniques but sometimes techniques overlap maybe my technique overlaps can overlap with yours and yeah look at this we finished coloring IN take a close look That was Ian. Ian, oh my god! And a fun fact about Ian's coloring I did not use the colors red or orange, but I used the color green. Yeah, exactly, I used the color green, but not red and orange. Color theory is weird. But yeah, if you like this video, I would really love a like from you. Maybe if you subscribe to my channel, it would be really, really good. I don't know. It takes just like two seconds subscribing. And you could also write some comment under my video. Maybe. I don't know. If you want, comment. After that, I would say we see ourselves next week. Bye!